Hello and welcome to another Bedrock Tutorial. It's been a long time since I've done one of these, but we're back and today we're doing a cocoa bean farm. Now recently I've been looking around for a rather simple cocoa bean farm that doesn't spit out more than about 10,000 cocoa now and I've come up with this little design. So let's get straight into it. Now as you can see as we fly around, this is a very simple design. It doesn't use very many blocks at all or any many resources and it does look very compact and I think rather nice as well. So this use of it is rather simple and it should be able to be used on Windows 10 and on any device where you can just shift right or hold right click or the right trigger or similar. So as you can see it's just simple as holding right click on the on the log and the cocoa will fall straight into here. Now I did use this thing a little bit earlier and it did, as you can see, get quite a bit of cocoa beans. Now this thing should produce up to or more than 7,000. I did get a little variance in rates that got from about 7,100, 7,100, now to about 7,600 an hour. So without much further ado, let's get straight into it. Now to start, we're going to want to get our resource list actually. So if we go into our inventory, we've got, we need cocoa beans, we need one repeater, one observer, one sticky piston, five pieces of redstone, one jungle log, three hoppers, a stone of your choice or bricks of your choice or whatever, ch three chests or five chests if you want to expand this out a little bit further for further storage, and one dispenser. And we're going to start by getting the block of choice and doing this with our three by four area. So we want to go four on the left, four on the right. Next, we want to put a, a chest here. That's our output. Put our hopper, one hopper here, a jungle log here, and the, sorry, a, a piston, sticky piston there, and a jungle log here. Now we want to get an observer facing into here. So we need to go put a temporary block there by shift click and put an observer on top of that and there we go let's get rid of this block here we want a dispenser here and a dispenser here we then put hopper here hopper here these hoppers will then feed the bone meal into this dispenser and of course you can now let's see put the chest put a chest on top of it if i can get it right now the orientation doesn't really matter because this is just a holding place. So now we'll get our bricks of choice and go one, two, three. And now it's time for our redstone. Put one here, one here, one here. That means that whenever the observer fires, it's going to fire these two at the same time. So this will detect that we've placed a cocoa bean and it'll fire the two red, the bone meal into it. Next, we want to put a redstone repeater and you must put it at three which means there's a slight delay between this observer detecting and firing the piston. And the last two pieces of redstone go here and here. And there we go. So now we do want to fill this thing up with a lot of bone meal. So let me just quickly do that. So it is important that both sides of these have a bone meal because otherwise, because what needs to happen is that both of these need to fire, both of these dispensers need to fire their bone meal onto the cocoa for it to work. So if we just have one, it's going to go to the first growth stage, not the second, and that's not good. Now for a final bit, we want to put one redstone, uh, one block here. Now there is a slight variance which you can do in that if you want to get the cocoa beans from your farm as well while you're planting, you can just, you can put them here and it should have sometimes spit the cocoa into your face. Otherwise, if you do not want that to happen, you can just grab a slab of your choice and put it here. Either way, the farm will work. And as you can see already, I've been putting the cocoa beans here and it's going to work. So I hope you enjoyed this very quick tutorial on how to do a nice, quick, short and simple cocoa bean farm. So thank you much for watching again. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the future. Goodbye.